Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we got the hammer and Goombario, so let's just break this block. There we go, problem solved, thanks to me and not you. I, ha I have a feeling the road will be lined with difficulty, so now try not to overdo it. Don't do anything out of your league. Be warnful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I've noticed you're not wearing the badge. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you for reminding me. Actually, I want to equip that power jump again, so that we can jump with power. Beware of Goombas. Troll fence. Troll sign, rather. So let's just jump on him. And I should probably... You can, um... Okay, what? Hey, Mario. During the battle, you can switch with... That was exactly what I was going to say. You can just read my mind, huh, Goomba? I mean, Goombari, I should call them by their names and not just their race. That's racist. This is a Goomba. Goombas are... They'll just tell you about the Goombas. I should be actually reading these, because the, some of these are actually funny. But once you do it for the first time, you can see that species health every single time. And then again, that was a simple enemy. With a second, with a partner now, we can actually kill a Goomba in one turn. Which will be good, because we'll be seeing a lot of Goombas. So again, first strike. Um, how is this any different? Okay, I might as well just take this time to explain, um, Goombario's gimmick. Goombario is pretty much in battle. He is essentially Mario's jump command. He can do, like, jump, which uh, he can't really do anything else, meaning that, like, if there's a spiked enemy, he's kind of useless, so you can't use him against spikes. But, um, he is actually a very good partner. Later in the game, he, he like, uh, spoiler alert, there's more partners in the game, but he can actually do the most base damage, like, um, of any other partner. And his moves are all very useful. I mean, some partners, like, have moves that aren't really do anything, Gim but Gimbario's moves all have, like, some purpose, especially Tattle, which I'll be using, which, like, probably what I'll be main mainly using him for. But as of now, he's just basically Mario's jump command, so just keep that in mind. Again, I should probably be cutting these battles soon. But they're so simple, so, I mean, nothing really to it. I mean, like, I don't know when to cut, like, maybe, like, if there's nothing we've seen before, there's, like... Because sometimes I want to explain, like, my reasoning for battle, because this game does have a decent amount of strategy. I mean, Paragumbas? Paragumbas aren't really any different. I might as well take this time to show Power Jump. Um, basically, you jump on the enemy with more power. Again, we don't have any action commands, which I'll explain later, so we can't really do anything about that. We just, you know... That watch him kick his ass. Anyways, yeah, six star points. We're almost leveling up. Halfway there. Generally, I want to take, I want to battle every single enemy unless they only give me one star point. Every time you level up, an enemy will actually give you less and less star points. So when they only give you one, I'm just done. That's basically my reasoning. Anyways, spiked Goomba again. If Mar, if Goomba, Goombario really can't do anything to spiked people, so he's kind of useless in that department. But you know. It still helps more damage. Again, so you have to kind of like, you know, realign your strategy to make sure you're getting maximum efficiency. This game, like, for me, maybe I'm just overthinking things, but this game for me is all about efficiency. You want to do as much as possible in as little time as possible. So anyways, these red blocks will always have a badge. This is a close call badge. You We might as well, because we can't have anything else right now. If, you ha if you're in danger zone, you, um, sometimes attacks will miss. So anyways, something interesting, if you get the first attack with a hammer, you can actually attack Goomba... Goom... Goombarios with... Yes, Goombarios, we're gonna be killing Goombarios with, um... With your hammer. Anyways, this looks like a long fight, so I'm probably just gonna cut this one, because it's just jumping, jumping, and more... Oh wait, you know what, I'm supposed to be tattling these guys, that's right. Whoopsie, I forgot to tattle the spike dude, too, that's... That's actually kinda bad. No worries, we'll see him, we'll... It's not like the last time we'll ever be seeing a spike guy. So, give me the rundown on this Paragoomba. This is a Paragumba. Obviously, Paragumbas are Goombas with wings. Maximum HP, blah blah blah. You can't hit them with a hammer while they're airborne. If you damage them, they'll fall to the ground and be like ordinary Goombas. Really? No witty remark? Come on. That's the, that's the whole purpose I was talking to you for. Give me something cool about him. Whatever. At least I'm getting a lot of XP. Three, Honestly, 3 XP for like one Paragumba is so obscene. That's like... Because you, they only have 2 HP. They're jokes. But again, once you level up, they'll only give you 2 HP. I mean, 2 star points and then one star points and that's when I'll start avoiding them like the plague because they're just a waste of time and sometimes I'll drop flower points which is good because I used up flower points there's a heart block again the game kind of the game's pretty simple from here I mean there's like unless you're really stupid you honestly can't lose hey hold it right there yeah you suspicious guy don't move just because he's Italian doesn't make him suspicious okay racist oh you're Mario I knew it you can't go back you can't go past here mr. big shot that's a direct order from the Goomba King, that's right. Oh, the king of all Goombas, how wonderful. The Goomba Bros, alright, that's how funny, even though Luigi t gets the shaft in this game. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. <laughs> that's kind of funny. 
Anyway, so first battle and he falls. And he almost seems to fall in every like important boss battle, just like comic relief or something. But we'll open up with a power jump, even though that's not necessarily what I wanted to do. This is the blue Goomba, he's the younger of the Boongas. <laughs> Boongas? If you hear the little speech, he's one of King Goomba's men. He doesn't look like that healthy. Wow, he's like, is he sickly? Does he have like some disease that like his big brother has to look out for him? That's kind of sad. I'm sure there's a whole big sub story about these guys, but someone has someone has yet to make it. I'm gonna use a fire flower because there's nothing else to do, and it's not like I'll ever use a fire flower. You know, it, this seems like the perfect place to use it. Might as well fry this little blue Goomba. <laughs> Why not? Blue blue Goomba. Yeah, you my little brother. You'll pay for that. We just killed his little brother. That is rather dark. We might as well tattle this guy, too. Again, I'm not going to be tattling... I'm going to try to tattle everyone, except there's one person in particular I know I can tattle. This is Red Goomba. He's the older of the two notorious Goomba brothers. 7 HP, one more HP than his normal guy. So he ordered him to start talking. He'd take him no prob. I like how he uses prob. He's... Because Goomba... Because Goombario is all about abbreviations. One, a one damage. Other than that, other than their, like, ma like big amount of HP, these guys are kind of jokes. They're just glorified Goombas, just with more HP. Still do one damage again. Really simple. They're dead. But they give us a lot of, um, star points. I almost said XP. So, you know, they're useful in that regards. Yeah, I'll get you, I'll let you go for now. So they're gonna run away. And so, yeah, what, what do you have to say? Oh, and he does, gives a thumbs up, which I neglected to show. Because I moved so fast. Anyways, I don't think we have to necessarily heal up. So anyways, ooh, another mushroom. Eat a mushroom. Gain your energy. Troll sign. Even more troll sign than that one troll sign. And I think it's only one Goomba. You know? Oh, no, it's two Goombas. Oh, thanks for neglecting, getting me, d disproving the game. That's the word. Of course, I'm getting my words wrong today. And these guys only give two HP because they're not as cool as the pair Goombas or the spiked Goombas. But anyway, simple, simple. I might, again, if, if... If, I'm probably going to be cutting from here on out, unless I see one of those elusive spiked Goombas, which I neglected to tattle. What do you want in time? Seven minutes? I'm also dropping frames, but... I'd rather, like, yeah, I am trying to change the quality to be, like, as good as it can be. So the frame rate may be choppy, but I'm going to, like, just, you know, play around, see what's best. So, again, it might be sketchy for the first few parts, but that's just part of the learning experience. And Giant Castle. That was out of nowhere. I like the music, too. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't suck so much. Is someone outside? No, no, I'm so paranoid on that regards. I like how the, that tree is like just shedding leaves. Hey, look, Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. I wonder indeed what happened to it. So what's going on? Okay, stomp, stomp, stomp some more. Even more stomps, yet another stomp. And music up, and look at this guy, Big King Goomba. Even though he has eyes. So, Mario, it is true. You made it this far. I respect you for that. What's with your voice, man? Unfortunately, this is as far as you. This is as far as you go. Because I, the great and powerful Goom King Goomba, will see that you advance no farther. Yeah, you hear that, Mario? No farther. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? But haha. -ha, yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say your story? Well, wow, I like how these guys are total pricks because, like, they have someone to, like, you know, stand behind. Such losers. You, you know, like, scared people like that. That's tough. Let's get him, Mario. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You better be. Anyways, this is a very simple, this is kind of like a mini boss, I, guess, I suppose. Even, you know, not King Goomba. We got your back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario, I think you made, yeah, take out the Goomba bros because they're weak, because we just finished kicking their asses. So, if you attack this tree, you'll actually quickly and efficiently kill all these guys, so that will get them out of your hands. They'll only give you 2 XP like normal Goombas will, because they practically are normal Goombas. So, let's take out the Goomba King. Goomba King, he's really big and really powerful, but he has 10 HP, but only one attack power. He really is a joke. Simple, simple, simple boss. Although, he will use his terrain advantage, because he, this is the home court advantage. We're in danger, actually. Again, not really a problem, because as of now, we're equalized. And in fact, he's losing, so there's, like, there's literally nothing he can do to make this work out for in his favor. And, like, he only... Oh, lucky, cool. That's... At least I got to show that off. Barely will. Um... But yeah, I mean, like, you think with his enormous weight, he can actually, like, jump on me. Maybe that would do more damage, but I, I assume he'd trust, like, you know, low kick. Well, whatever, whatever, whatever you think is fine works, I guess. Anyways, we kill him. And after this, we will get a level up. I'm pretty sure, like, you always get a level up unless you avoid every single enemy somehow. I wouldn't know how you'd do that. But anyways, um, we're gonna level up. 
HP just cuz that's like the first thing again um whatever I'm whatever I level up I don't really go in a particular order I usually just level up what's most convenient at the time yeah cool I know you can do it cool victory flawless victory except we got hit a few times doesn't matter anyways hit this tree get a star piece there's a funny bit of dialogue but I kind of want to hurry things up and just hit the switch <laughs> And, like, this makes no sense because I didn't actually listen to him. Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must be warning you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? What? You what? You already pressed it? And shit gets... It hits the fan for him. Oh, no! And I like how this castle just falls apart all paper-like. Again, cool paper effects. Gown goes the whole... I don't even know what those things on castles are for. Just for... Maybe for, like... Arrows or arrow stations. I don't know. There's probably some strategic battle thing for that. And that thing's all gets down. And he's standing on a giant spring. That's like, doesn't seem like the best place to stand. And the bridge lands perfectly in between those two, like, in, in between that gap. That doesn't, that looks kind of dangerous, but we'll go on it nonetheless. Look, the bridge. Now we can cross and continue our journey. All right. Let's go. Apparently, the Goomba Bros just disappeared and died, but whatever. I don't think there's anything in that tree, but I'll check it nonetheless, because there's nothing in that tree. There's also a star piece here, but we can't get it yet. There's a lot of star pieces we can't actually get yet. And I don't even know if I will get them, because, um... I only, I'm only i only gonna get star pieces until, like, you know, it's convenient for me. Or it's, like, super, like, obvious. And there's Kami Koopa watching us kick the Goomba... Goomba King's ass. That, that's what, that was what it was. Or was it King Goomba? I don't know. Don't really care. But anyway, save and continue? Why not? We have some time. I suppose. So, anyways, there's always going to be a lot of interludes with Peach, you know, doing the stuff. So she returns. I was pretty fast. I pretty that thing goes mock speeds, I suppose. And Pendulum just to be cool. So what's the? Oh yeah, this there is no Peach. Oh wait, there is. Oh, this is much longer than I thought it was. <laughs> Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario's been de Mario's defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. Well, thank you. What? Unbelievable. What was the Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And now Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. Uh, Kami Koopa, are you sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your villainess. Try to try be, to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. That's funny because Goom Goombario had said Mario could beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Yes, yes, very good. Gwahaha. By the way, Kami Koopa, those Star Spears we captured don't have any way of giving Mario power, do they? Oh, mistake, no, villain mistake number one. Please don't worry yourself. Each hold is held separately. Villain mistake number two. And each is held carefully by your hand-picked subjects. Villain mistake number three. Don't, don't do that. Just keep the cards for yourself. It'd be impossible to win for Mario. Even Mario can't save all seven Star Spears. Villain mistake number four. That's the whole point of the game. God, these guys are stupid. So who's the closest Star Spear to Mario? Is the one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? Oh, dramatic irony. If one can somehow reach us in there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. I love these guys and I love this theme so much. Hiya! I love this theme. And there's the Koopa Bros. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of the cool. Uh, psst. Kami, Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic and even he can't beat Mario. Pshaw! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like him. See what we got going on this power of- We got the real superpower of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Sell it, <laughs> Koopa Bros. I love how she's using, like, hip words. Show a king what's that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? So they're gonna do an attack, which you can't see. And what? Oh! Oh! That this is oh he just <laughs> just <laughs> going crazy over that. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, excellent. Really, I'm not even easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured Star Spirit. I've locked him up in, the, in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? How'd they even get to the castle in the sky? That's a great question. Uh, nobody, sir. You know, you were here and so You idiots, use your heads! Get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit! So they dig out. Not sure where they dig out to since they're in the sky. Did they just jump off? Apparently Mario survived an attack like that, so it'll be fine. And apparently there's, um... Apparently, 
th there's not a the, the, the cutscene was not as long as I thought it was, which is good, so we can end it off right here with a sleepy sheep. So we'll go to sleep like this part. Until then, this has been Skin Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!